Now that a lot of people have been live streaming their church services for quite a while, they have started to migrate and upgrade their equipment, whether it be just using OBS and going to some type of switcher like the ATEM. But one of the issues that they've been having that I've been getting a lot of emails about is how do we do um, lower thirds and all this other stuff in the ATEM? It was so easy in OBS. How come we can't do it in the ATEM? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send OBS to the ATEM to make all of those wishes come true. So let's go. All right, folks, Agent CEO here. So let's just go ahead and just jump to it. So you have used the animated lower thirds, which we have a video here on how to use, and it allows you to do some really cool and neat stuff by adding lower thirds makes it really, really easy. But you know, you want to, maybe you don't have a presentation software or you want to write this stuff and make lower thirds and animate it through some external program and link it to the ATEM. How do you use the same simplicity that was in OBS, but then have it come into the ATEM? Well, it is very, very simple. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and cut over to my streaming PC and we're going to show you just exactly how that works. All right, folks, so we're here on my streaming system here. And what we want to do is we have our OBS here. And I am looping to infinity. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And the main thing is we want to be able to send all of this stuff natively from OBS. So I'm assuming that you already have your animated lower thirds or whatever program that's embedded in OBS, like your um, Bible lower thirds, everything like that. All of this will work the exact same way. The first thing we need to make sure is that that is the only layer that is being sent. So we're sending it transparent, nothing, or it show it looks like it's black. But that's what the main thing we need to have set up. Now, with this, you need to make sure that the computer that is running OBS has a secondary output. If your graphics card does not support it, you can purchase one of these items at Amazon, which is a USB to HDMI display adapter. It needs to make sure it is USB 3.0 so that it can push out 1080p. Um, that's the main thing or the supported resolution of the ATEM that you're going into. I'm using the ATEM Mini. If you're using the ATEM Television Studio or something like that, you need to make sure that the resolution and the frame rate and all of that matches. So I'm assuming that you got that stuff done. So all we're going to do is we're going to just come in here, have our stuff run, and we're going to do a full screen projection to the output that is going to be fed over. And that's all you literally got to do. All right, so now let me cut back over to the ATEM software and then we'll show you all the setup that you gotta do. All right, so now that we got everything, all our plugins and everything, what we need to do is inside of OBS, like I said, go here to our full screen projector and we're gonna output to the, to the connection that's going to the ATEM. I have mine plugged into input number two and I have my camera going into number one. So if we go ahead and switch this out so that you can see the output. All right, so as you can see, this is the feed that you're seeing is my A10 Mini, and I have my Sony, I mean not my Sony, my Canon camcorder going into input number one. Then I have the output from OBS going into input number two that is using that um, if your computer has it like mine does have an additional output that's what's routed in there if not use that usb to hdmi adapter like we talked about and now that gives me this so with that being said let's go ahead and cut back over to our software all right, so now I have the ATEM software and we're gonna make the adjustments just like we've done in videos before about how to display um, lower thirds and graphics. And we're gonna be utilizing the downstream key. So again, number one is my camera. Number two is the output from OBS. We're gonna come here to downstream key. We're gonna change our source, our fill in key to input number two or camera number two. And then that's it. Now let's go ahead and switch back over so we can see the result of us doing this. All right, so we have everything set up. We have our 
downstream key is set to use camera number two. All we have to do now is I have OBS pulling up a scripture using the OBS Bible lower third from First Fruits. So now with that keyed in, all we have to do is hit the DSK and boom, there you go. That's all coming from OBS being fed into the ATEM. Now let's go ahead and clear that out and let's go ahead and bring up our lower thirds. So I will go ahead and the DSK is still on. Let me go ahead and engage our lower thirds and boom, there you go, right there. Now, I might need to play with the coloring because of the background that is gonna be inside of your um, pre-multiplied key. So as you can see, I turned that on and I can change the coloring a little bit to make it show a little bit more. All right, and then just like with the shortcuts, if you had those engaged, you can turn these on and off. So really cool, I'm gonna bring it back up again. And then let's go ahead and try and bring the Bible stuff at the same time, which is going to be a mess. But you can see I, all of this is being driven by OBS. So if you've put a whole lot of work into lower thirds and everything like that, that's all you got to do. Just have a secondary output, plug that into your ATEM as a feed, just like you would if you were using any presentation software. And then you just have it. Um, set the DSK to look at that input, just like you would pro presenter, presenter, whatever type of scripture that we had based on our other videos. And now all that hard work of what you've done with the free tools in OBS, now you can have scripture, lower thirds embedded, and then you don't even have to add all that presentation software. You can just have your ATEM and another computer that doesn't even need to be powerful, very powerful, running OBS just to use those two plugins. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I try to get to all my comments as best as I possibly can. And I hope this helps enhance your media ministry and the functionality with it. And guess what? It didn't cost nothing, but maybe $15 for an adapter if you needed one. So if you like this type of content, appreciate the like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video later.